Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? Welcome everyone, I'm really excited. I love September. I feel like it's such a month of absolute renewal and coolness and decisiveness and I love Libran and Virgo energy. We start to clean up, clear away things, get our things in order, right? I'm doing that for myself personally right now. And just quick announcement, you guys, I'm going to be doing a wonderful new moon spread special, and it's going to be ready within 48 hours of your order. All you have to DM me over on Sparkwist 11. It's going to cover everything, health and healing, money and wealth, relationships and friendships, creativity, love and romance, everything shifts and um, any big changes coming your way. I love doing these and I feel inspired to do them every couple of weeks and they're a lot of fun. So you guys getting back to your read, what I'm going to do is offer your three choices and feel free to watch more than one if they resonate. You know, they're not very long, but um, I just feel like right now a lot of people are at a really fantastic pivotable pivot point where you can make magnificent changes with ease, you know, tremendous growth coupled with like amazing results. You're just deciding I'm going to get out of my ego state, which is always going to battle with my creative journey. I was watching one of these great TikTokers and I love him over on IG too. Um, if you guys haven't heard of him, his name is um, Kevin James Thornton. And he is amazing. And he was talking about creatives and how there was always that phrase having your eye on the prize but for creatives as you guys well know it always shifts and changes it's like quicksand it's always different oh today I want to paint and I want to make something beautiful for my home and I might want to you know just start writing and get ideas for me words are very important and how I relay them and how they kind of land and they instill confidence encouraging people so I'm always looking at phrases and ways you know it's like some people when they speak they're very flat it's like there aren't any beautiful adjectives or warmth or inflection and i like really hilly bumpy um you know big landscapes when speaking because i feel like words have the power to shift somebody's perspective and my whole goal over here is to let everybody know that everything that they want loud and clear can be attainable for them so let's see what's coming for you, my gorgeousness. We have number one, which is transformation and defining yourself. I want to create a new definition of myself every day that's bigger, brighter, happier, and more balanced than the one before. Because again, what happens is we start to pedal backwards a little bit and get on that groove in that record that we set for ourselves, but that's a comfort zone. We want to move away from that. There's also the number three, if that is significant and you like that number as well. Number two, is culmination, completion, and renewal. September, huge for that. And that's the number 27. What that means to me is we have to finish certain projects and ideas and have follow through. So then we can have a sense of renewal and then that kind of empty landscape in which to work with, right? We're not cluttered anymore. We're not inundated. We're releasing so we can let in newness, right? Just like we slough off dead skin cells, ideas, people, places, and things that no longer work. We're in for new change, making room for kindred spirits and friends, which I love. And then number three, which is returning, going with the flow. One of my favorite phrases absolutely works miracles on us when we decide not to always try to like fight time and have lack mentality and where is it and the chasing aspect and the just grasping instead we're sitting back I mean why wouldn't you be and just picture yourself in a rubber raft and you're going down the rapids they're pretty calm and cool the scenery is beautiful but all the while you were worried about where is this taking me what's going on when am I going to hit the shore when when is lunch when is this not and you're always wondering and configuring you might as well be trying with your oar to go against the flow state you know because that's a struggle state and usually again that's egoic like I need to know everything I need to be in control this is releasing control I'm telling you the universe has great ideas for you and great plans for you so get in that flow state that means somebody shows up it's no big deal somebody wants to do something out of the ordinary let's experiment let's go let's go see what's out there you know what i mean this is about growth and potential and all of that beauty and with being in that flow state you're going to learn new things and really have some amazing things take place so you guys quick sip of coffee and then we're going to begin with number one i love this let's really define ourselves with beautiful words okay we want wonderful words we want good humor delightful cheerful charming calm brilliant amusing 
relaxing, terrific, uplifting, witty, all of those things. Make a list of super fun words. I always go over to Pinterest and I get like a an envisionment board of all these wonderful words and I say them and I actually feel my mood lift and I feel my vibration go up. Words have power, so let's get powerful words to define you. Oh, right. I'm so thankful, you guys, that my mood shift because this morning, if, if you um, heard me on the smaller channel, um, Ian just threw everything out of the closet because he needed certain things and he just made my room into like a, a freaking crazy dumping ground of crystals and boxes and artwork and I can hardly move. And all of a sudden I said, well, what gets you in a better perspective and a mindset? And I was like, just begin your reads and you can choose to see what you want to see. You can see all this abundance around you that you get to sort and savor, or you can see it as a mess. So I was like, yes, again, whenever anything negative comes in, I choose that opposite word, right? Love it. Negative to positive, a mess to tidiness. And also I love the expectation of going in bins and boxes and not knowing what's in there. It's like another Christmas day, right? So I feel like that's part of what we should be doing here. So we have two of swords. So hallelujah, you're going to be moving away from feeling blindsided by life more into the queen of pentacles, abundance and wealth. So let's see when we're defining ourselves, let's get real here. Do we want to be that person that is indecisive, that is scared, that prevaricates, that bounces all over the place? Or do we want to be this, this beautifully grounded, sound individual like you are that makes great and rich choices? A, by pausing and slowing down, you're in no hurry for no one, right? You don't have to answer that email. You don't have to do anything right away. Take your time. This is about balance, reciprocity, and people supporting you and giving to you and helping you as well. Do not be afraid to ask for help. If you are in pain, if something just doesn't sit right with you, clarify the situation because that is what your center card is. She is amazing. She has a clever, admirable personality that is like, listen, I'm not trying to shortchange anybody or do anything other than grow and prioritize and have an outstanding life. So what can I do to bring that about, right? What can I do? I can ask myself a few things. What are my beliefs about myself right now? How do I define myself? Do I define myself as someone who's balanced and together and grounded and solid and somebody who's filled with all this love and abundance around me that is secure and happy? Or do I go back to that old um, egoic state that says, oh my gosh, if I do this, this is going to happen. And then you get paralytic because you overthink. We are going to eradicate that and replace it with this. Yes, we all go through huge fluctuations of emotions. I'll tell you, I do as well. I have to get such a um, handle on my reins when I first wake up because my mind is already ticking away. Oh, you should do this by this time. Then you can do this. And all of a sudden it's strategizing everything. I'm like, dude, you haven't had one sip of coffee. Breathe and calm down, right? So again, what's our attitude towards our day, ourselves and others? That's a big thing. Do we feel other people are fair and balanced and want to give back to us? When we start to feel that generousness of others, we become more of the same and then we operate on that frequency. That's going to be taking place for you. What is your perspective on anything? Your home, your family, your community, your life, your relatives, your relationships, all of that. Do you feel like, oh, you know what? I am going to notice where changes need to be made, where people might be in need. I, if I have the time and the resources to help, I certainly will because I feel awesome when people do that for me. I feel loved and cared for. So I, in return, I'm going to do that, offer that ride, offer that resource, all of that. Who are your friends? Let's take a look. We oftentimes, we take in a lot of behaviors of those three or four people most closest to us. Are our friends open, honest, generous, giving, non-judgmental and critical? If not, let's do a little bit of tweaking. The queen speaks up and says, listen, I know that you always joke about A, B, and C, but it really hurts my feelings. So I would appreciate if you don't do that anymore, okay? I wouldn't do that to you. Forthright, honesty, that queen does not mess around with that. If people want to enjoy your company, they should be generous, sweet, kind, and on patronizing, right? Sometimes we fall into these weird grooves with our friends and we need to speak up for ourselves. How do you interpret situations, okay? Do you get overwhelmed at times by them and make them bigger? This is, let's take those ridiculous phantom mountains and turn them back down into molehills. Like when I looked around my room and I saw things that are precious and I love, just like all over the place due to you know somebody else's carelessness, I thought, you know what? they are not thinking that 
these things have meaning to you because you had them tucked away in the closet. They're not out where you always observe them. So let's go from their perspective. Okay. So I interpret the situation. He would love for me to have my things organized and see me operate with ease as opposed to, he doesn't care about my stuff, blah, 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 blah. Right. And getting all paralytic, angry, or kind of constricting. Instead, let's go, ah, you know, he just wants what's best for me. They want what's best for me. Another thing, how kind are we to ourselves and others? Honestly, let's take a look at that. When you pass a mirror, do you say, ah, oh, I'm going to take my time and take care of myself today. I look a little bit, you know, harried or whatever. Oh, my skin looks like it's lacking certain vitamins and minerals. I'm going to care for myself and really hydrate as opposed to, oh my God, you old, you old satchel of leather, you know, like I've heard some of my friends and people speak about themselves in such horrendous ways. Yes, it's comical and funny and they're trying to be funny, especially if they're talking about extra weight or whatever, but really speak loving to yourself. I am going to care for myself. We wouldn't say like if we were our younger sister, oh my God, you know, you are a hefty, hefty person with some extra chins. We wouldn't do that. So I don't understand why people do this to themselves. Speak beautifully of yourself, your inner nature, because the physical can always be transformed, right? We can always lose, put on weight, muscle tone. We can do anything, color our hair, take care of our skin, all of these things. So this is about you beautifully cycling up until this great being that you are, you know, it's like, it's like day and night, we are deciding and questioning what is in our realm and what are we allowing and what do we need to release and get a quick exit from right and mine is definitely i don't like people that are just or the, in the company of people that are indifferent to everything like nothing is magic everything is same old same old that dull flatline energy does not help me and that's not to say when my friends need help or they want to you know um emote certain things like uh, you know, I'm in pain or my job doesn't do this or whatever. No, I'm definitely, I'm always there to listen, but this is people that always then think that there is nothing new on God's green earth. I don't like that. I can't be impressed by anything. I like people that see the magic and beauty and things and art and all that. So you're going to have a broad new horizon and be careful who you let in on this energy so you can maintain this and you're always ever evolving. So know that the things that you want and need to sustain you and help you grow and and feel love are always going to be around you when you're seeking them, right? You're going to have the answers you need. I feel like you're going to have a beautiful ascension up into a more evolved state where you're just like, I am, I'm going to be excited about life. I'm going to enjoy things. I'm going to have endings where I need them and beginnings where I need them. I'm going to defend who I am and I'm not going to listen to anybody um, that has this kind of just like awful, gluey, muddy, um, mundane, and, and critical like reality. It's just not part of who I am. I'm going to get in flow state, which is huge and just go with the flow and realize how often I practice gratitude, right? How often do I say, wow, I'm so lucky to be alive. I'm so lucky. I was so lucky this morning. I had this weird, sharp pain in my stomach and I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to incapacitate me to do the things I want to do today. But then I flipped that and I took the opposite and I said, you know what? I'm going to heal and I'm going to feel better. If I do deep breathing, I picture myself feeling better. I calm down because that stops constrictions and that like opens everything up and, and the, the tightening, right? Or the loosening of all the tightening. And then I fell back asleep, woke up and I felt great. So again, you guys envision yourself in wellness and glowing health and great relationships and, you know, and robust thriving businesses and bring yourself up to this beautiful queen of pentacles and decide whenever we might feel a little indecisive we can pause and rest we don't have to make immediate decisions we can reflect on what we think will work best and move in that direction so beautiful energy you guys if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe all my links are down below i'd love for you to come over to sparkquest 11 get in on the great new moon reading special or if you need any kind of readings dm me over there i'm also going to be doing the super um jewelry extension where i do each piece that i had listed last week they're all over my IG for $33 each or two for 50 amazing rings. Great. Oh my gosh. There's just so many great pieces. But like I said, I'm trying to streamline and get my house in order and get things all ready for September. So I'm having these super sales. You guys are the best. Remember you are the queen. You are the king. You are on top of this. The world is generous. You are also generous and the things that you need are coming in great abundant swathes. All right. Now my beauties onto beautiful number two, comment down below. If you chose this one, I felt like this was very enticing for a lot of, um, reasons. I just feel like I, whenever I see this beautiful 
dragon slash unicorn critter and somebody just sitting up there on the throne. I feel like it is very empowering. It's a very empowering card. And if you chose this, I feel like you guys are ready to become this beautiful, unique, empowered self that you haven't seen in a while. I feel like now things are cooling off and you're streamlining and you're adding a lot of simplicity and you know, you're no longer overcrowded. So you're going to really focus on what has meaning. All of these things, your attitudes, your thoughts, your perspective on life, all of these things, whether or not you try again after a setback, right? Because this number right here, 27 in the middle is about completing things. If it's important to you, you're going to have focus and follow through. If it popped up in your head and that cosmic frisbee was thrown to you, you're going to decipher, this is mine to pick up. And then I'm going to put all my wishes and my well-being and my focus on, I'm going to throw it back out to the universe, get in flow state, and I'm going to do this. Also, if you guys, I recommend if you chose this, you're going to have a lot of similarities with group one to go and watch that because I was really impressed with some of the messages that came through because it has to do with really our perspective and our thoughts. And when we think we can, everybody better just get the hell out of the way because we certainly can. I mean, I know I'm an unstoppable force once I decide I can do things. There you go. The world card. I knew it. I feel like so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, like let me, I need to breathe in center. So I can't, I can't. This is, I knew it. This group, please comment if this is you because you need to get ready for the blessings of a lifetime that are coming in. Oh my goodness. All right, let me begin with the world because I already hear messages. I feel new friends are coming in, new ideas, um, kind, beautiful people that want to invest in you and your ideas and your time because you have great wealth also coming it has to do with this world card and the star your wishes are coming in now i want to slow down this is like you guys going from the cold into the heat you know what was once cloudy is now clear what once was closed is now open when you felt like you were in the cellar you're now in the attic and you can see everything where people used to be careless now they are careful this is everything this is your grand entrance to your best self you guys so ask yourself again this is where we need to decipher and make make like great life choices by a defining how often are we practicing gratitude how are we expressing our feelings to other people how are we interpreting these situations how are we taking care of ourselves what are we reading who are our friends what is our attitude what are our beliefs and start this definition of yourself as the highest most achieving spiritual enriched like wonderkind right with this this is saying you are going to come up with such creative expansive ideas the universe is just going to set it aflame for you and you have some serious abundance coming your way some serious wealth this is legacy money this is huge and part of it is due to the fact that you are do this karmically you have sown the seeds you have worked hard a lot of you guys have known very oppressive um, relationships and existences for times where you just felt like, oh my God, I'm, I'm just parenting all the time. I'm just working all the time. Now is your time to sit back and enjoy what you have karmically put out there in the form of monetary abundance on a scale that you can't even imagine. But you've been wishing and hoping for this. The universe saw, received, and now is doing it for you your lack mentality is receding and you know that what you're asking for is going to come to you again all these doors opening i picture all these doors you have been dedicated and a warm protector for your family and other one for other people too so now it is time for this charismatic inspiring leadership ability that you have to come into play whether you're doing ted talks or you're on a, the world stage or you are an actor or actress or entertainer you are going to set your world afire so many things are out there that are beneficial to your trajectory your upward trajectory and that is your faith in yourself and your abil abilities the quiet and the mystical can always help us just as just as much as anything else that's loud and proud out there right you are going to be inspired and tireless in your ideals to get to where you want to go and feel good and inspired consistently that's the magic part of the star coupled with aces because it's divine guidance you never feel like you're running low on fuel it's constantly how about this idea let's put this in there let's go and again you're ever shifting changing reality like the people that get instant success like say on um uh all those shows like america's got talent or you all of a sudden just blow up on ig and you're all of a sudden you know like just this stellar persona that sort of energy right here i feel like it is a poetic 
path because you have been kind and altruistic to other people and now you are going to have like very dedicated people in your life that love you and want to see you succeed again the world is just like basically you ordered that oyster at dinner and it's filled with a perfect flawless huge pearl and you're like i knew this was coming i knew this was coming i knew this love i knew this wealth i knew this feeling secure and love and stable and leading a charmed life was headed towards me and that's exactly what's coming and this is just you know brief and to the point you guys are going to be the virtuoso, you're going to be the adventure, you're going to be the entrepreneur, you're going to be the entertainer, you're going to be the executive, you're going to be the advocate, the, the campaigner, everything that you were always meant to be in your life because you just opened, it's almost like you've got a spell book and you flipped that page and you said that incantation and all of a sudden all these ethereal ties to all these magic realms came out and they were on like that super fast magnetic highway to you and you deserve this, believe it, believe it again. Get ready to explore all of this magic that's out there because it's here for you. I love this so much for you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. I wish you could see my channel because of this glitter. It's catching the light and now I have like all these little star formations on my ceiling. It's really cool. You guys, beautiful. If you want to find out more about this, come over to Sparkwist11 over on IG and get in on the great um, new moon spread. It covers all of this. You guys, you just are, you're getting ready to skyrocket. I love this. I almost feel like it's that person that's pulled on stage and they just sing a verse and then the whole world is enamored with them and you're enchanting everyone. It's like that. Wow, you guys, I love that for you. Again, don't forget to press like and subscribe if you like this. Go back and watch number one because I feel like you're in, and you're in tandem with each other's energy and I love that. So love and light, beautiful, beautiful energy, you guys. Soar, soar, soar. Beautiful energy. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just did number two and it blew me away. I haven't seen cards like that. They carry that energy in a long time. Woo, if you want to just tweak your energy and your frequency, go watch number two because I feel like there's insights. If you're watching this read, I always feel like all the messages are meant for anybody, but that really resonated, I feel, for creatives and entrepreneurs and people that just are going to go into the freaking stratosphere of success. Beautiful. Now let's take a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous energy. This is one of my favorite sayings, going with the flow, flow state, huge, huge energy for calmness, stability, um, also acceptance, acceptance of things the way they are, but also our ability to change and tweak them whenever we want, right? We don't have to be acceptance of um, somebody's ineptitude. We don't have to be acceptance of the mundane, but we go and we make the changes without you know discord and you know it's like personal ferocity but we don't get upset about what's happening right now we are now implementing change where it's necessary but but we're able to do that because we are in this beautiful flow state we're accepting of who we are and we are going to feel no 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 hold on i need to we are feeling, we know who our friends are. We know we are honest. We know we have a healthy perspective. Our thoughts are helping us cycle up. We are reading and learning things that are good for us. I don't mind if she comes over as long as she isn't like flipping things over. Ooh, yes. Let's just start with this because last time when I flipped all three cards, it almost overwhelmed me and I, I almost started speaking in another language on group two. Come here, come over, come off of that. And eight of cups. Let's get away from what doesn't serve us. So let's take a look at stuff. Do we feel, A, that we are taking good opportunities and utilizing them? Are we letting stuff pass us by? How are we juggling our finances right now? Are we taking the time to uncover truths? Are we taking time to make up with others? Like in our cycle of emotions, are we realizing sometimes we weren't looking at things from other people's perspectives? And or do we have friends or people in our life that only see things from their perspective? And how can we get away from that energy, right? Uh, some of us, we do need to take a deep, hard look. Sometimes I'll notice somebody that's extraordinarily selfish in my life and I'll just take a pause on that, right? Until they learn to kind of see themselves through the lens of others, then look at all of this. You guys definitely have, you're, you're going to have the emotional wherewithal to push through any of these boundaries and see things through a really healthy perspective, as opposed to why is this happening to me? And why are these people doing, you're going to get in the flow state and say, you know what? People will be people. I sometimes play this. I call it like the cosmic calendar. I will set 
Well, tomorrow I'm going to do this. I'll set one little fun thing that I know is going to make me feel good, excited about life. I'm looking forward to it. And by doing that, I have this gleeful and joyful anticipation in my life. You know, I'm going to paint this bathroom. I'm going to create this a piece of jewelry. I'm going to order these beads and just make this, you know, magical collar. I'm going to make a crown. I'm going to, whatever it is, I set forth some kind of little game plan that makes me look forward to my life because I don't like the mundane. I don't like things feeling they're one dimensional. This is rich five dimensional thinking right here. Yes. Choices. You guys are going to be able to have more choices than you realize. Oh my gosh. So I just put the deck in half because I wanted a clarifier on that. You are moving towards an enriched, fulfilling, beautiful destiny right now. I feel like this is huge destiny for people when there's a lot of cards in like eight nines and ten of cups what happens is we're saying what are my thoughts right now what are my attitudes about myself and others what do i really believe to be true and you're switching this all up how you interpret situations more clarity i feel like now you're ready for the miraculous the spectacular the wonderful the majestic the mind-blowing and when the sun comes up with seven of cups that means you are making stellar choices the people you're allowing into your life the right people the direction you're moving the right direction the ideas you're having man oh man are they going to just go like what what is the word that everybody says like when something goes like nuts on ig or something it's gonna go well let's just say it's gonna go nuclear the people are want what you are putting on offer whether it is words or theories or you know a concrete design whatever it is it is going to add such warmth and bliss and wonder to your world right now. I mean, I'm talking staggering, staggering choices that you didn't even think were available to you, but because now you understand that they are and you're limitless, more bigger and better choices come in and you're like, I didn't know I could choose a ultimate movie star as my fiance. I didn't know I could choose a home overlooking the seaside on a cliff with a spa in it as a choice. We really do limit ourselves and it is now time for you to recognize that and i feel like you are you're like you know what why am i being why am i being so small-minded about what i deserve man i deserve like that tree that um all the stars fall out of with the diamonds and the caviar and the good friends and the you know and the fireworks and the anticipation of greatness and the glowing in the dark butterflies and you know everything it's all the magic that encapsulates having a fantastic life is coming for you and with that sun clarifying that seven of cups that just means man oh man are you going to be able to make great discerning choices and not waste your time anymore what used to bewilder you nope you've got that i want this instead of that i mean extraordinary change that's going to benefit you in a way that you didn't even think was possible hair raising heart stirring energy for you guys group three really beautiful i mean i feel like now with your financial security you're going to have gain through any efforts material well-being struggles before are now gains for you cycles end that were annoying no more unpleasant events within your family units or friendship units drastic changes because of your inner growth like no more obsession and illusion for you this is just like i used to let that devastate and bother me and and misalign me and now i'm like that's so petty and ridiculous i don't care what other people think of me because a i know that everybody's too busy thinking about themselves and if it's negative it's just a projection of themselves it really is so much is illusory and there's so much fear base that doesn't belong there like humans create fear and fear of what how we're perceived how how do we really care if we are our honest best selves people perceive us other than that that is how they perceive themselves so i let that go i don't need to carry that bag around and again rewards from work um success and triumph cutting your losses where you just know this doesn't even deserve my time or effort and because of that you cycle up tremendously in your frequency bringing all of this amazing stuff for you wow you guys this group really really prodigious thinking that brings incredible results on an epic scale for you guys i'm excited i want you to comment down below if this was you guys just put a little heart to let me know that you know you better have those fantastic um interstellar rose colored lenses on because you your future is phenomenal i mean this is this is heart stopping impressive stuff i'm excited for you guys i feel a lot of you guys a good stone for you right now is citrine 
And something else I wear when I feel this kind of energy, because citrine magnifies the abundance. It brings in all this like, woo. And also I like tourmalines. Tourmalines transmute energy, what can seem like foggy or hazy into real clarity as well. All the tourmalines do this green pinks and they're amazing for that. But you guys, I just feel like you are sitting pretty, you know, and I feel like I had this energy the last couple of days with these tornadoes and hurricanes. I could, I was just miles away from devastation all around me. And our neighborhood was completely untouched from everything. I feel so blessed from that. And right away when I woke up every day, I was like, thank you. Thank you for keeping my animals and my neighbors safe. And this is like you where other people around you that aren't in a flow state are are reaping negativity and problems you're the opposite you're seeing light and clarity and that's amazing wow i hope a lot of people watch this video because i'm excited <laughs> like i'm excited my energy is so in this and i feel like people are meant what who is meant to hear this will definitely hear this and i'm excited for you so again you guys if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and if you want a private read or anything come on over to my ig which is sparkwist11 and just dm me i get back to people really super fast all my information is over there um come follow over there i do daily posts and memes and contests and reading specials and jewelry specials and i want to thank you guys and you know and thank my patrons people who come and support even if it's as little as a dollar a month it helps me you know to get new cards and decks and i just i'm really excited i got some new audio equipment because i just feel like it's necessary i feel like after i use a microphone for a certain amount of time you know it's it can get a little more grainy so i got a new microphone and some they're called dead cats which i don't really like to say but they muffle the noise I will call them fuzz busters because I prefer that. <laughs> but all of that, and I want to thank you guys for that. Beautiful group three. I feel the love emanating towards you and from you in this read. And I am excited. I'm going to upload this right now because I can't even wait. So love and light.